Hey guys, welcome back to Bring Geek here and today finally my exams were over and it's time to burn all the books. Not really. <laughs> so today I'll be showing you how to make your own picture logo as I have made mine, my channel logo using Adobe Photoshop. Um, you can use any of them. I'm using the Adobe Photoshop CC. You can use 7, CS6, any of them. Um, all you need is a perfect image. Perfect image here means that an image with you or the object to be converted in the center totally centered not on the corners because it's really really difficult to make a vector for objects on the corner so all you need is that and another thing is concentration because you if you don't have concentration you won't be able to get the um, some errors on the corners of the picture some mistakes done by you so you should be totally concentrated and now without wasting any further more time let's get started so guys we are in the pc and now you can see i have the ps photoshop and now we're gonna choose the picture which is perfect um streaming geek and logo so here um maybe this picture um it's my friend mr gp he allowed me to use this picture so thank you mr gp and now you can see the picture is logged so all you need to do is double click on the layer and ok so this is how you unlock the layer and now you have to go by the object um, around it move the magnetic lasso tool around it so that it can select the object like this don't worry about the clarity right now because we're gonna clear it afterwards once we have selected the whole object because it's more easier to do it like that so just keep on moving it mm, perfect so since I'm the turban geek so I've started with the turban so press CTRL-C and V CTRL-C and then CTRL-V to copy the image and then select pixels by right clicking on the logo of the pixel of the head layer and then using the color picker tool pick the color of the object and then with the paint just color it now you can see that at the top there's some area left so I'm gonna zoom it over there um, and then just using the paint brush I'm just gonna clear it out like this See over here there are some mistakes here like the engraved ones so I'm gonna paint over them also so that I can make them perfectly so now um, I'm gonna color some more mistakes there are a lot of mistakes so now you can see that I have to now I'm gonna make this triangled part the black one so select it oh no my PC is a lag so mm -hmm. sorry for that now just I'm gonna concentrate properly so like this just move it around the object and it's done and now copy paste select pixels choose the color as black and paint it like that and now remember to keep the layer properly like this should be above the turban so I've kept it above and now it looks perfect and that's how you do it and just click on the selected layer with the selected part with the lasso so that you can unselect it and move follow now I'm zooming out and now the video is fast forwarded for convenience and just like you've done before go on selecting the area copy paste select pixels and now uh, for skin color I prefer using bit strips just go on google and type um, skin color hex codes skin color hex yeah and you get that bit strips and it's there and now you have to select the 
code from here the skin resembles the skin color resembles something like this so I select it and just, just color it that's done now there's a mistake done so just erase it properly mm -hmm. so now coming to the neck region select it and now remember to keep a sh shade lighter than the face or darker to differentiate between the neck and the face now I think I have done a mistake, um, I should have inverted the colors, so now the darker part is below and the lighter is above, so now it looks perfect. Now selecting the shirt, as I said don't worry about the clarity while selecting, you can improve it afterwards. So now selecting the color from the shirt and done, like this, now here you can see again. So hide and unhide the layer sometimes to get the perfect part like this now you can do it like this that's all and now come to the color just select the color and try to keep a lighter shade than the shade of your shirt for color so that you can again differentiate between both of them and like this Keep the collar layer above the shirt layer so that it's visible according to this position. Select the white part, copy paste, just coloring it in the second one. Now you can see there are some errors, so like this, and that's done. Now the second part, white. Sometimes it's really really difficult to select the area like this. You have selected and just color it. Now you can see there are some problems in that. So I'm just gonna use the paint. Also, you can do it like this, also, which is more easier, I think. But it takes a lot of time. So now again. You that I'm gonna color this part also now it looks good now it is in the errors like this the face is also so now coming to the second color and just selecting the area and color the same this um, just clearing the objects properly there are some parts when the color is not properly made so just go ahead and color them now coming to the shadow part shadow is also easy to make what you need to do is just again select the shadowed area with magnetic lasso tool and then just go on and paint it totally black again copy and paste select the image layer before copying so that will copy the perfect thing now color it black and then go to opacity and set it according to the shadows opacity and just raise the part and that's done but it doesn't look perfect so I'm, I'll come back over here again after a while now again hidden and just select the second shadow there and same procedure again all the light looks perfect so I'm just improving it a little bit and now it looks perfect maybe some more equalization is needed here you can see it's a little line of shadow so I'm gonna make shadow for it also this if you don't see the pixels just go on moving the color above the area you, have. you know you selected the area so that you can get a, a little bit of effect black effect so that's how you do it and I'm just thinking to give it a shadow again setting it at 30 no, 29 maybe 5 the same five and then just adding the now you can see the doubling of shadow can lead to darker color so 
is to erase the doublings out there now you can see I'll give it a little bit of black shade at the bottom of the second color that's how I give it now just clearing some of the errors in neck region the color white one that's done so now I'm thinking to add spectacles to the picture so just download a PNG file from Google about the picture and you know sometimes images are, ras are smart layers so all you need to do is just rasterize them by right clicking on the layer and just click on rasterize layer and that's how you do it again the background I have added so now I'm improving the shirt part now so it looks perfect hmm. some more parts to be cleared now it's just the finishing given to the lecture and that's how you do it it's really difficult to make for the first time but when you're you know easy to make it then you make the perfect ones I also started making pictures some two to three months ago at that time I made a little bit of mistakes but now I'm perfect at it so just save the file and that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed please do not forget to like the video and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel down below and that's all see you stay blessed bye bye